Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you're having a good week so far. Today is 214, so there was a hashtag trending event on Twitter for Sell ZSJL to Netflix and Sell Snyderverse to Netflix. It is up right now at about 100, just under 150,000 tweets. So that's pretty cool to see the support for that. And speaking of that, Wayne T. Carr, who was, you know, Zack Snyder's choice for Jon Stewart Green Lantern, whom unfortunately we did not get to see actually in the final cut of Zack Snyder's Justice League, but we have seen some pictures before and we've seen both of them talk about it. He did share a picture um, supporting the hashtag as well um, of he and Zack on set. Looks like they were filming the scene and he said happy valentine's day and he used you know he mentioned netflix and the two hashtags he also had another tweet that he shared <clears throat> um sharing one of the graphics um with the different symbols from zach's universe for the justice league members um and of course green lantern is included on there all of them you know all the members and so it's cool to see him supporting the you know the fans the fan organized trending event for today and if you want to know more about why that hash those two hashtags are the ones being used today for the trending event head over to the channel i've covered it a couple of times in some different videos explaining the meaning behind the hashtag shout out to wayne t car for supporting joining in with the fans and showing his support if you follow me on twitter you might have seen um my take on the, you know, Cell Sliner vs. to Netflix um, t situation, or if you watch the channel, some people I've seen comments about like, you know, if you don't believe in the hashtag, why support it? Or if you don't think it's going to accomplish anything. It's not that. It's just that it is different compared to what Release the Snyder Cut was. Because Release the Snyder Cut, we knew as fans that, like, yeah, there was plenty of people who, you know, argued that it existed, but the fans, like the hard, like the fans that really wanted to see Zack's movie, we knew that just even based on the trailers, without even having to see pictures that he shared, without having to see clips, without having to see anything, you could just watch the trailers and know that it was a completely different movie. So, and then over time, as he can, as Zack started sharing things and things started coming out about, you know, from people who had gone to early screenings and. All these different things that you know this character would have been in the movie and, and instead of this happening this would have happened and this would have all those different things that we started becoming aware of it started becoming more and more obvious um as if watching the theatrical cut wasn't obvious enough it started becoming even more obvious that the movie was um just completely changed and destroyed so anyway that movement was slightly different because we knew that all WB had to do at that time was just decide to release it. Um, it was just their decision only, right? And thankfully, eventually it happened. The whole Snyderverse Netflix thing is very different because it's not that it's impossible and it's not that I don't believe in it. It's just that it... I mean, I've seen people make the points of it could benefit WB because it's still their property and, you know, they would still benefit from it financially. Of course they would because <laughs> they would take a large chunk, the majority of whatever Netflix, uh, you know, made mo money wise, any monies, most of it would go to WB because they are the ones who own the property. Some of it would go to Netflix. They wouldn't make very much. Um, it would take a long time probably to get money back for it because a large portion of it would go to WBD. So yes, they could both benefit from it, but again, as I had mentioned, it's just so many things that would have to be worked out for that to happen. And so that's why I think it's different from, you know, the hash the movement of release the Snyder Cut because all they it was their property didn't involve any other parties, didn't involve any other service streaming services. It was just on them. And all they had to do was decide to let Zach finish it and release it. Granted, that was a lot of work that had to go into that on the part, you know, um, everyone who had to go and restore the movie to its original design and coloring and finish the scenes that weren't finished and, you know, the score, all of that stuff. 
Steppenwolf's design. Um, so there was a, a lot of work that had to go into finishing it um, technically. And then, you know, Zack did record the epilogue scenes uh, with Batman and Joker and all of them. So a um, ton of work that they had to do on their part and visual effects. Um, but they just, again, they just had to decide to allow that to happen. And with this Netflix thing, while I would love to see it happen, um, it's just not as black and white. So my take on it is this. The ultimate victory for Zack and the fans was getting ZSJL, 100%. And I'm super excited to see the new worlds he's building. But if the opportunity ever arose with the right circumstances and Zack wanted to, then I would definitely love to see the rest of his arc continued or even just one more movie. Um, so it's not that I don't believe in it. It's not that I don't think the hashtag is useless or that there's no purpose to it. No, I don't think that. Getting the Snyder Cut released was very, like the odds were not in the favor of Zach, the fans, or his movie getting released. The odds were definitely stacked against us, 100%. Um, so I understand that. But I just think WBD would not like want to agree to something like this even though i would like to see it happen so that's where i'm it's not that i don't believe in it and i think that's where people were getting a little bit confused i saw some of the comments i just think they wouldn't want to do that because even though it's still their property netflix would still get like the audience would give them credit like the audience would praise them for letting you know for giving zach the platform to continue his arc and you know that's why i think and yes i know some people think it wouldn't be competing because it would still be dc and it's still their property and they have seen comparisons to what marvel did with sony and spider-man but they still had a lot of you know there was still in inside problems going on with them because of who gets more money and you know it is a lot to and that's just one character so it's not exactly an apples to apples comparison because that's one character. The Snyderverse doesn't come as a bundle package, as I mentioned in earlier videos, which is why that would be another, this is why it would be such a difficult thing to accomplish. It's not like you just get this whole world and you can do whatever you want with it. Licensing deals are very specific and then you know there's a lot of there sometimes there's a lot of things that the platform who's getting the you know permission to use these characters there's a lot of things that sometimes they cannot use or they can't reference because it's not included in the licensing deal um just like for example even though spider-man is a marvel character and hulk same situation um, in Tom Holland's Spider-Man movies, when he finally joined the MCU, yes, he's a Marvel character, but since Sony has the rights to him and they worked out that deal, there are certain things that are somewhat different. Like, for instance, they don't say Aunt May. They say May. Seems like a, you know, it is kind of a minor difference, but those kind of things are, and, you know, Mary, MJ is not Mary Jane. She's Michelle Jones or whatever her name is. So there are things that, you know, they did make changes, you know, minor changes to because Sony still has the rights to Spider-Man. Um, so it would just be the whole my whole thing with the Snell's the Snyderverse to Netflix thing is, yes, we would all love to see that happen if Zach wanted to do it, if it was the right circumstances. I'm super excited for to you know to see Rebel Moon and more of the Army of the Dead universe. Rebel Moon, I'm very eager for. So, um, you know, we still want to support the fact that he's building his own new universes, 100%. But yes, if it ever happened, then I would definitely love to see it happen. I just think we need to have a balanced view that you know 
it's awesome when fans come together to show support for these for you know Zach's movies and the universe definitely and I'm here for it and I'm always going to support his universe um but I'm also going to support his other work def just as much but I do think that we do need to recognize the differences between this hashtag and release the Snyder Cut because they are two different things and so I just think we need to have a we don't want to be you know saying that just because this hashtag is becoming more of a thing that that that, that means that you know this is going on behind the scenes and Netflix and Warner Brothers are talking and all of that I don't want to spread like false narratives or anything like that but I just wanted to clarify that and that's what I kind of try to compact into this tweet here um so I hope that makes sense. I think a lot of what has to do with this um, Snyderverse Netflix um, thing is that fans want to feel some kind of closure for Zack's universe. And that's really, I think, the bottom line. Again, I think getting the Snyder Cut was like the ultimate win. But I do see, I do understand the desire to have some kind of closure for Zack's universe, especially even more so now with what's going on with rebooting DC and all of those things. So I just wanted to share my, you know, share a little bit more of my thoughts on that, especially seeing some of the comments on the channel. And um, yeah, I hope that provides a little bit of clarity. But thank you guys for watching and um, check out any videos you might have missed recently. Shout out to any new subscribers and we'll see you guys soon.